ready to go to the groomers. Milo's not happy. Mio, I didn't put them all the way because it's a short ride. Milo does not like to be in the car seat. He likes to be on top of people, but I can't drive like that. Only my husband can. Good morning, guys. Oh my God, I just dropped off the dogs. I felt so bad every time I dropped them off because they get so sad like and nervous. They don't want to go to the groomers. And it's not just this groomers. I've actually taken them to a few different ones and every one of them, they just don't like it. It sucks because the last two times that I did meal that I took him to get groomed, he got snipped because he's so little and like the razor, I don't know, whatever they use when they do in like his under like always cuts him and I told him, I was like, can you be extra careful this time? Because he's always gonna be terrified of coming if he's always getting cut, you know? But I always get so sad when I have to leave them because they hate it. <laughs> I don't blame them, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to Sephora. There's a Kohl's right next to me and that Kohl's has a Sephora. Hopefully the camera just doesn't fall. I wanna get some Tula like eye cream situation because because my eyeballs and my under eyes i think it's because of allergy seasons to be honest with you i keep scratching my eyes that is making the area under my eye also very sensitive so not only are my eyeballs super dry but it's also making my eyeballs dry so i have an issue with that I'm back from Sephora. I'm gonna do a little one product haul because I literally went to Sephora and just got one product. Very unlike me, but I wasn't trying to spend money and I should have bought this in the VIP sale because I had to pay full price and this is not even what I came for. I came in for the Tula Eye Bomb. They didn't have Tula in this one. It's only in a full Sephora, but my sister told me about the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Let me lower the brightness. Yes, this one right here. And apparently it's really, really good because my sister told me about it and I totally forgot about it. And so when I asked the worker, I was like, hey, do you have any recommendations for any like really hydrating eye bomb? or anything like that and she told me the Kiehl's one and I was like oh that's right my sister told me about that one so that was great right now I'm gonna go and get a Starbucks even though I don't really like Starbies I really want something let me check my to-do list because I gave myself a whole to-do list and I want to make sure grooming appointment stop at Sephora oh I have to pick up my jeans from a spot. I'm gonna get some breakfast from this like a bagel shop. I haven't had a bagel in a while so I'm gonna get a nice little bagel for breakfast this morning and I think I'm gonna get some Starbucks. They're on complete opposite ways but that's okay. They're gonna be there for like four hours. I'm not gonna drive with you guys because I was actually doing that earlier and it fell so I'm not gonna do that. actually spent like 30 minutes cleaning the car because the car was a mess i also brought the car mats that i'm gonna go quickly wash look what's here <laughs> i have been wanting this one for so long the stanley tumbler it's been sold out everywhere and i did a ship order it was in target in store this is not the color i originally wanted this is a white one i mean it's nice but i wanted the like nude one it's called driftwood or something like that and it has been sold out everywhere but i'm happy i got this one at least oh my god i've been on the hunt for this and target brought it in stock I'm so happy. I'm gonna wash it and use it and start drinking more water. I drank most of my like Starbucks order. I did a medium, but I asked them to put a ton of ice so that it could fit in a venti. Let me wash this, fill it up with water and clean these mats, take a shower and start filming before they call me to pick up the boys. I just got out of the shower. I am feeling so good. I cannot find, what the heck? My desk is a mess. I need to clean this up before I film because I cannot film what a messy does, but I cannot find my gua cha. I don't know where I put it because my oh I found it <laughs> yay so this is a gua sha and I use this to like massage my face it feels really really nice I'm gonna do some skincare and just prep for filming I'm gonna be filming a hair reels and a hair tutorial it's gonna be my spring routine minimal effort one product minimal drying time this is the dove even tone love me this deodorant it is so good haven't stopped using it probably been using it for like way over a year i think i started using it back in 2020 and it's literally 
so good so i always have that and my husband uses it as well i'm gonna do the pro strength hydro firm brightening serum i've had this in my makeup kit right here my makeup cart should i say and i want to finish it it's good but i want to finish it i also put some of the kiehl's creamy eye treatment the one that i just picked up at sephora and i will say it feels really nice and hydrating i had it in my makeup kit and so i've been using other products i'm trying to finish it because there's not much left but i'm gonna do some skincare i'm gonna do the super goop unseen sunscreen do i want to use this let me put some oil so i can do the gua sha and then i'll probably do like a tinted moisturizer instead i went to the dermatologist and they gave me a treatment for my eczema patch and y'all it is almost gone non-existent at this point this thing was like blazing burning i did it for like a week straight completely gone which is insanely amazing now i'm treating my neck so i'm gonna try not to wear necklaces at night it's like a dual treatment situation and i am noticing a difference already so that is good i'm glad i went to the dermatologist it only took me 10 years in a day but i'm glad that i went so i'm gonna do a quick little makeup look i'm not sure what's in mind per se i don't know what i'm gonna do but maybe i'll keep it simple since we're just filming a hair video today we'll see depends on the mood i'm gonna go to the groomers looking like two different people because when i went i look like a mom with a baseball cap and everything and now i'm gonna go with my hair all done makeup done and like a cute little outfit so it's so it's gonna be funny i just finished getting ready i don't know how i feel about this lip yet maybe it needs a neutral I think that looks a little better. We were looking a little too, like, 1990. Y'all, I knew this was going to happen. I was getting ready midway, and I got the call that the dogs are ready for pickup. So, cannot leave them there. I just can't do that. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. This is what my hair looks like when it air dries. And if I do, like, a hairstyle, right? Like, a half up, half down. I'm going to have to wet it, and I'm going to have to do all of that again. I just really don't know what to do to my hair to go pick up with the dogs. I don't want to put a hat, because last i wore a hat with my hair like this and i had like a line here and it was a mess to fix that so i don't want to do that and i can't go on like this because it looks a little too wild for my liking and it's also just gonna get bigger if i go out like this it's not gonna stay like this so i ended up putting what is it called i ended up putting the leave-in in my hair i was gonna film this part don't have time when i tell you i did this in like five minutes i did my sultanicals frizz whiz been loving this stuff i'm actually trying to finish it because i've had this for quite some time and I just finished putting this perfume, which I showed you guys in like a previous vlog. This is the Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid one, and it smells so delicious. I got it in PR. I ended up putting my hair up because what I decided is that I'm going to get the dogs. We're going to go to Ikea, and then when I come back, I can just perhaps either refresh my hair and like rinse out the product and do it again, or we'll just see how the day goes on. I was going to leave my hair like poofy, but once, I told you, once it started to settle in, it was like getting frizzier and frizzier, so I knew I was not going to be able to walk around with my hair looking like that crazy, so I was like, yeah, no. We're not doing that. So I just quickly put some product in. I'll drive with the windows down because I'm looking like a little flat right now. But at least my hair looks long. She look a long, long. I'm trying to think if I should stay with these cute little earrings or if I should be extra and loud. Let's see which one looks better. Maybe you guys can help me out. These bigger hoops. The hoops are giving Spanish mommy and I'm here for it. <laughs> I kind of want to be conservative today. Is that like weird? Like I'm feeling the little hoops today. I think I'm going to go with the mini ones. I got these from Pagoda and they're so stinking cute. I'm going to try not to touch my hair too much because it's going to get frizzy, but let's go get my pups. I hope they did a good job and I'm excited to see them. So let's go get my little doggies. Look at my boys. Look so handsome. Mia, you look so handsome. <laughs> I wonder why they didn't cut Mio's face a little bit more because he's too fluffy. He looks so funny. Okay, let me get these boys. My boys. Hi. Hello, Milo's like licking Mio. I don't know why. Hi, handsome. Milo, that's brother. Stop being nasty. He's so small. I forget how small he is when he's so hairy. drop this camera because I was driving and I dropped it earlier today. Sucks. This one is the expensive camera. This is not the other one. This one's more brightly. 
How was your food? Very good. We're finally gonna go to Ikea. Today has felt like such a long day. I ran so many errands today and I feel like it's only five, but I feel like today was like super long. Like I did a lot. It was a productive day. So we're gonna go to Ikea now and pick out our... Are you gonna get another pack system? Another one? Mm-hmm. Remember, what we only have one. Pretty ordered. That's all we need. And I have to get my drawers because I don't have that. Do not enter. So I'm gonna pick out our gavetas and then hopefully shipping could be like tomorrow or Thursday. That would be good. Getting this one. Just the plain. No, but there's a bigger size. Where is it? Let me see. One. See how cute? And then this little guy is cute for like espresso shots. Ooh, that's so pretty. So we're here at BJ's now to make a quick little pit stop because last time we came to BJ's, I discovered a really, really delicious ice cream it's heladitos from it's like mexican popsicle ice cream and it's so good so we're here to restock so i'm going to show you guys which one it is and you need to get it because it's so good he didn't want to get a car and now he looks so sad okay guys these are the ice creams oh my god this is what they look like if you go to bj's make sure you get them they're only 8.59 and they taste just like coquitos the coquitos that they sell in the street it literally tastes just like this but more creamier i'm putting you on hi guys so it's the next day now and i stopped vlogging yesterday because i was so tired i actually got home really late yesterday my husband and i stayed talking in the car for like two hours by the time we got home it was already like nine i was like yeah I'm not filming at that time <laughs> so i did do all of my filming today i feel a super accomplishment I, accomplishment super accomplished my goodness i also did my hair as you guys can see i have this routine already live because this is going that curly hair routine is going live tomorrow so it's already live i'm gonna link it down below for you guys but it's my like spring hair routine with like just one product super easy my lazy curly girls my minimalist curly girls like this routine is definitely for you so check it out but I realized that I didn't show you guys what chair that I got from Ikea I have been filming on it today and I'm so happy with it it's super comfortable it was on sale in Ikea for $89 which is a steal because all the office chairs are easily over $200 especially a beige one like all around so I was so happy with this one only thing is i didn't know that the armrest were optional so they do sell the arm like the armrest thing here for 20 bucks i'm so sad i did not know that that was available and they actually have it in the ikea store but i didn't know so i didn't pick it up so when we go back on friday we're i think we're going saturday to pick up the doors for the closet system i'm definitely gonna snatch two up and i might i don't know i really think that i'm gonna get another chair for the office because one of those chairs are broken i don't know but i might pick it up for the office i haven't fully decided yet but yeah so i'm gonna show you guys the chair and i'm gonna go back and get the armrest because i feel like the armrest will complete this chair i wanted it because of the color but i was sad that it didn't have armrest but now that it does and i just didn't know i am so happy <laughs> so i have you guys on like a little tower situation <laughs> this is what i had you guys on but this is what the chair looks like and i was actually able to lift up my desk even more since this chair is actually pretty high so i love the fact that i have a, a height adjustable desk excuse the mess i was just filming there but look how beautiful and again with the armrest the arms are going to be this color which is nice all of the chairs that i've seen the office chairs this is either, either silver gold black you know none of them are beige so i'm so happy happy that this one is beige also the covers are removable which is perfect because i do makeup i do hair you know videos and sometimes it gets on my chair and so this is machine washable i can take this part off and i can unzip this part throw it in the wash and my chair is always going to be clean so i'm so happy with this chair it is very comfortable the only thing is it kept spinning so i don't know if i need to tighten anything up or something i don't know but 
I'm just, I'm not used to it, but I love the high back because I'm really tall. So this comes all the way up and it's just a really comfortable chair. And for $89, y'all, snatch it up on clearance. So I don't know if it's going to be out of stock or what, but it's a beautiful chair. And I think with the armrest is going to be even better. So. I have this little container which is so stinking cute with hairpins and I wish I had one for rubber bands. I got this at Marshalls for $9.99 and I always just refill it with my bobby pins because y'all know bobby pins just have little legs and they run away and it's always hard to find them so whenever this is running out I always just like restock. I want one for my rubber bands because right now I just have my rubber bands in like the containers that they came in. This is future Chelly here and I wanted to show you guys. I actually found the solution to my rubber band situation. So I bought a huge pack of spice jars that didn't fit my little cabinet. So I had extras and they were just sitting in a box. And so I just put some rubber bands in here. Super cute and small. I can have it in my little cart and I can store the other one away. So I have two of them of rubber bands and then I also put the black ones in a separate container. I put some little hair accessories, even put some bobby pins. The bobby pin doesn't close all the way but even like this it'll still be better because it's compared to the other container that I had it in and then I even was able to put some hair ties like you can use anything that you have and it doesn't have to be for that specific category I even put some of my eagle styler gel here from my big big tub and that works as well so that it's in a smaller container and then I also even put some small little hair clips that I had just like laying around so so yeah I found a little solution and I love it I'm so happy I'm gonna put all of these in one drawer so when I pull it out everything is nice and cohesive these are actually the really cheapy cheapy ones don't buy these because they actually snap on your hair right away or like if you want to do a long-term style don't use these use like the higher quality ones because these are okay for me because I usually keep my styles in just for a day. I don't like to, you know, leave it in my hair for too long because I like to scratch my scalp and I don't like to leave a protective style in my hair for too long. So these are fine. They kind of just fall out on their own. But if you want to do like a long-term style, definitely get the better quality ones because these are not it. I don't know what I want to do to my hair, guys. I have no idea. I love like like a snatched half up half down like I love that look but it's getting it's getting boring <laughs> you know I need to switch it up so what if I do I don't know what to do with today is also Cinco de Mayo so I want to you know I want to kind of look cute I don't know if we're gonna go out for tacos that was the plan but low-key hubby and I are both homebodies and we're going out tomorrow night as well so I don't know I really would love some like authentic not authentic because I don't like the taste of the corn tortilla but I would like some semi-authentic tacos today that would be fun we also have like an appointment at six go to a local spot near us so I don't need to go too crazy but I want to do a hairstyle that like makes me feel cute and confident and just different from my, what I've been rocking but I have literally no idea so I ended up changing my shirt because the shirt that I had on wasn't giving what it's supposed to give so it's like no I want something cuter so I'm wearing this like blue top that I will that I wore for um the OGX event that I had earlier this year and yeah I guess we're bringing in all the spring vibes. So I have a hairstyle in mind that I saw on TikTok. I think it was on Tik, yeah, TikTok or Reels, one or the other. And I thought it was a cute, a super cute hairstyle. It is indeed some kind of half up, half, half up, half down situation, but I still want to try it. So we're going to go for it. I think it's super cute. I hope it looks good on me. So I'm going to do this really quick while I listen to music and then you guys can see how I created the hairstyle but me talking and doing it it's gonna be tricky so let me just focus on doing the hairstyle first I don't really need new friends so spend your time with me looking for someone who can play though wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me looking for someone not afraid of give it all to me get next to me get next to me all that I Okay, hair is kind of done. I feel like once I do my makeup and stuff, I can go back and like finagle it or like fix it. But I think it's kind of cute. I don't really like 
this like gap situation here so i'm gonna have to see how i can fix it maybe kind of bring this hair a little higher i definitely do think it's cute it's like different from i guess like my signature half up half down i don't know if it's like growing on me or what let's kind of like live in it a little bit while i do my makeup and if i don't like it i can always just like take it off but it's cute i mean the curls look amazing i use let me show you guys what i use and let me also show you guys the stash that is now in my studio i'm so excited okay let me show you guys what it looks like so here is the product stash so what i had here was literally two huge mirrors which i loved so much because it opened up the space but at the same time it was kind of like an like a empty wall and like a little bit of a waste of wall for me i'm thinking at least that's what i kind of thought and so it was a perfect space for my bookshelves i do have to move them over because i have them a little bit over the door so i need to scoot it over and then everything just had to be moved over so that i can still have my clothing rack and everything i did start to put wallpaper in the back i put the over the door mirror over here i still have to paint this it looks so good let me actually scoot it over so i can show you guys what that would look like okay that looks so much better plant is kind of struggling <laughs> a little bit in this corner but i really want the pop of green so i think it's fine but yeah product stash is now in the room and i sit here and do my work clearly my desk is a hot mess but i sit here film and i can just glance over and see like okay what product do i want to use today what can i film what can i incorporate and so much better we have so many new products in here guys i'll give you guys like a tour later on tonight after i like get ready and film content for the day but wow i'm so happy with this decision because i've been using the same products over and over again and i'm kind of tired of it <laughs> not many products fit in here so i literally have been rotating the same a few products and i wanted to change that so this is what this wall is now looking like i'm excited the room still looks really nice and open and i wanted to put doors on it but if i put doors it's going to be another out of sight out of mind situation so keeping it open although it is very colorful and it's not my aesthetic <laughs> i try to organize it as best as i can so it could still kind of look good but but it's a workspace nobody be chilling in here you know nobody be looking in here so that is the product stash so now that that's out the way we can go ahead and start doing some makeup i brought my mirror over here hopefully it doesn't throw off the lighting too much so let's start off with my brows I actually gotta get them done because they're looking wild this little pelito here is bothering me Okay, my brows are now done i use the nars concealer this is the pot concealer this is medium two in the shade ginger and i also use the anastasia beverly hills this is the brow freeze the brow styling wax and i really have been liking it because it just like leaves your brows like laminated it gives it like that laminated look only thing is if you put too much it looks like dusty and crusty and so sometimes it can get like flaky and white so it's kind of just finding the middle ground between both but i want to try something i want to try something new i did get a new concealer so maybe we could dig into this this is the tarte c power flex concealer so i want to use that but let's do foundation i haven't used the lys foundation in a long time so maybe we could use that this is the triple fix serum foundation again because i'm using the nivea cream i am using that as primer and moisturizer so we're gonna go just right into foundation i think i'm gonna color correct today i don't think so should we color correct i don't know i use the brightening cream from ole hendrickson and i feel like my dark circles don't look like hideous you know they're kind of manageable today so we can kind of like rock out without also this looks light but it oxidizes fairly quickly so it is going to match me you will see i usually do eyes first but i don't know i'm not gonna go crazy with eyeshadow i think we could just do a wing liner with some cute lashes and Call it a day let's use this new tar concealer and hopefully it's the right shade i got shade medium sand it has a little cute packaging it's sorry guys washed out but it has a cute packaging and it is supposed to be hydrating because i'm trying to stay away from matte stuff for the time being while my skin is you know going through its changes i guess you can say so we're just adopting but i'm gonna put a nice amount because i am not putting color correctors so i feel a little bit more free to bright and i think this color is okay i didn't wet my beauty blender so we're gonna have to do that i think i put too much on the forehead <laughs> but it's okay we will blend it out okay i'm back 
hopefully it didn't dry too much so let's see okay she's moving <laughs> okay wait that's nice because i had it i mean i was rushing let me dry this a little bit more because it still feels kind of like wet you want to damp but not like with water so just take a paper towel or like a towel and just squeeze it out i don't want it to pick up the product i just want it to blend it in okay so it doesn't dry down like fast which is nice some concealers like dude you can't even wait two seconds you have to blend it right away and this is clearly not one of them which is nice because i was taking i was definitely taking a risk there doing that but this is nice okay i like this so this gave me really good coverage, but I want just a tad bit more. So the concealer that I use for my under eyes, the NARS Pop Concealer, I'm going to just take a brush and just give me a little bit more coverage. Just a little bit more. Just to brighten up the area. Again, I didn't put color corrector, so I want to work with the products that I have and just kind of let this kind of sit for a little and just brighten up that under eye. So for cream contour, I actually used a new one. I've used this before, but I've never used the shade. This is the Neutrogena Radiant Cream cream concealer and it's in the shade what shade is this pecan medium deep two and i like it it's kind of subtle i did go back in with concealer and try to like blend it out a little bit but it is subtle and i like it because it's prepping me for bronzer so i like that let's go ahead and set these under eyes i don't want them to start creasing let's go in with i have the patrick one size setting powder here I think we're good. I think we're done. I'm gonna leave it like this. I didn't put any what is it called? Highlight. So let's finish this. Let's put some highlight on. I don't put highlight on my cheeks anymore. I don't know why. I just don't like the way it looks. So I just put it on my brow bone and my tear ducts. And then this also just helps clean up the brow. And it also feels like it looks more open. How cute. And then we can just go in and blend it. Oops. I was a little too messy and messing up my line so much better now my eyes look awake and it looks so good i'm so excited oh, so i just finished cleaning up the studio and we've been a while later because i've been here like taking my time cleaning and stuff waiting for my husband to finish what he has to do but the studio is clean let me show you guys i put a camera strap on this camera so that i don't lose the camera or like risk it from falling and now i'm not used to it but here's what it looks like i'll give you guys a little pan around i do have to wash this rug and this little throw blanket makeup on it so i'm gonna throw that in the wash this is what it looks like from this way super clean that is actually going to be living in this closet but my husband still has some stuff that he's taking out so now this is going to be my closet because this was my husband's closet and so since i um took the products out of the other room now he's going to have that closet and i'll be able to like put all of my filming equipment and everything that i need for this room can live here because i have like things everywhere and so i forget about them or i'm always using the same thing or i have to just like run all over crazy so that's going to be emptied out so that my little makeup cart could fit inside and that way just clears up the space i was thinking about putting the rug in the middle of the room should i or should i not or maybe even bringing it a little bit more under so there's less rug space because whenever i'm sitting on this chair and i roll back sometimes it like gets caught there so i ended up changing to black denim jeans instead because the other ones kind of were clashing with this color top but i am so hungry and i'm ready to eat <laughs> 